There's a big one right here. Take him through here. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, he's off. Okay. Holy shit, man. Let me see if I can grab him out of here. That's a big one. That might even be my PB. Driving down this old dirt road in this huge forest, this road goes pretty deep into it. There's all kinds of tiny little creeks running through here. I did fish this before when it was pretty much dry. You can see that video where I went cane pole fishing for some catfish and some other little tiny fish in there. But now the water is just raging over the dam through the flooded forest. And I tried it the other day and there was some really big bowfin hanging out in there. So I'm looking to get a monster today. Plus there could be some really big catfish in there. getting set up here get my boots on I'm gonna put some of these bug spray wipe things on these come in really handy I love these these are great because then when you spray it it doesn't go all over the place you just grab one and go like this wipe yourself down and it comes in really handy I made that mistake last time by not putting any on and those fire ants ate me alive so we'll just put some on here gonna be fishing really close to the truck if I need anything uh, it's a short little walk up this hill here I also got both my coolers with me loaded with ice loaded with drinks just putting on my gloves here I get a lot of questions regarding why I wear gloves and I think it's a great time to address that I wear gloves for a number of reasons and one of those reasons I won't go through all of them is this place is loaded with all kinds of fish, especially bowfin, you can get a good grip on them. They got teeth all over. They're not going to flop around. One wrong move, those teeth are going to come across and cut all your hands. These give it a good grip. It's also good for the fish. We can get into some more reasons, but if you ever have want to have an educated conversation regarding gloves, you can send me a message. I'll answer it. But if you're some hater troll on there that somehow associates wearing fishing gloves with your manhood I don't answer stupid question by the judging of some of these comments these fish probably have a bigger brain than some of the trolls out there it's uh, pretty bad let's go on that adventure now and we're gonna have a great time all right I'm gonna head down I'm just using some plastic worms these little plastic worms I've got a really heavy leader on because these bow fins have mega teeth and they might cut through the line so this will help I'm just gonna be using artificials right now it's got to at least be 20 feet deep down there. This side's a little more shallow. You'll see the water flowing over the dam. The bowfin are going to be holding up like jumbo jets right on this side, ready to take off and explode on the bait right on this side, on the, on the far side of the dam. I'm well prepared today, and we're going to go see what we can get right now. All right, I made it to the spot. You can see the water dumping over this right now. This is absolutely wild. It goes down here. Then it's about 20 feet deep under this bridge. I walked down there when it was pretty much dried up before, so I know how deep it is. So I'm gonna cast right in here. This is where all those bow fins should be. Lined up right here, ready to destroy this plastic worm. Take a little pass here and dig it right in here. There he is. Got one. Ooh. So I had one right there, right off the bat. You hit right off the end of that. Damn right there. 
so they're going to chew this up really quick. Going to try it again. At least we know they're still here, but I mean, lots of action, a lot of fun. Almost every cast right here. We want to get one of the big 30 inchers out of here. They're really hard to hook because of how bony their mouths are. That was a big one that went for it. I saw him come up too. That was probably the 30 incher we were looking for. The last one I got here was 25 inches, probably the biggest bullpen I've caught, so I'm going for my personal best here today. He came up right here and took a hit at it. That was a nice one. Nice cast right there. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a big one. That's in the line. Right here. Okay. Oh! Stop. Okay. What did he do? Okay, he took the... So let me show you what happened. This is friggin' out of control. Look at this shit. They've got so much power and the teeth are like out of control. Another reason why I wear gloves. Look at that. He bit right through the metal hook. And that's a really strong hook. Can you believe that? Look at that. Right through the steel. That was a nice one. I'm gonna have to go back up here and tie a different hook on. I might use a stronger hook now because this just wasn't strong enough. Even though, look, I can't even bend that metal. Clean right through with the teeth. Okay, I got my rubber glove here. I'm gonna put this one on because when I get one, it's got nice grip, so I'm gonna be able to grip them nicely. These are very powerful and aggressive. They're big, they're mean. They've got a ton of teeth, so I'm gonna put a stronger hook. I'm also gonna put this leader on. I have a mono leader, so obviously if he cut through the steel, he's easily gonna cut through this, so we're gonna put a steel leader on now with a more heavy duty hook, and I should be, I should be able to get my PB this way for sure. It's gonna do the trick for sure. So they're not going to be able to cut through with their teeth. Just like that. Now we've got it really heavy duty here. Right there, that's all steel. Doesn't seem like it's going to matter to these fish if they even see that. So that's why it doesn't matter if I make this really obvious. It's going to be great. I got the same bait on that they're just destroying, but there's my setup. It's kind of weird, but I got this big heavy duty circle hook now. They're not going to be able to bite through that, but I don't know if they're going to get hooked. I might have to hook it through the middle, but I'm just going to test this out and see if it actually works. If not, I'm going to have to change the hook, but we're going to go back down right now. Okay, we're going back now for round two. I'm just going to walk right down here, and then we're going to get something get my personal best. It is freaking hot. Bit that off quick. Look at that. Here's what happened with my new rig that I tested. I had too much of the tail hanging out. I gotta maybe shorten it. I might try one of these little white things. They're, they're biting off the tail. So as you can see again, he ripped the rubber right off it. Completely ripped it clean off. At least I know that this heavy duty rig isn't affecting any of their sight or scaring them off. Something moving right in there. Oh, wow, that was a big one. Let's see if we can get them to bite. That was a big one right there. Surprise that scared them. Usually they're pretty aggressive. Shit, that scared me. I almost fell backwards. Let's try it again. So they're still hanging out in here. Right here. Here, here. Oh shit! 
Okay. Oh, he's off. Okay. Holy shit, man. Let me see if I can grab him out of here. That's a big one. That might even be my TV. Okay. Let's see, where did he go? Okay, hang on. Shit. That's what I didn't want to happen, but he can go downstream. He should be fine. Oh, there he goes, yeah. So he's gonna make it out of here, unless I can grab him. Right there. There he goes. He might just jump right up that current. Yeah, he might. Oh, there he goes downstream. Okay, so he went downstream. Okay, so he's fine. So as soon as he gets into that, under that bridge, the water's about 20 feet deep. But that's what I didn't want to happen. That's why I use the heavy gear, because I can muscle him right over here and then bring him into these rocks. But I tried to grab him, but he got away. He's down there now. He should be fine. Oh, look at that alligator. Look at the alligator in the middle. Little alligator. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's off. Okay, that was a nice hit there. That was a nice hit there. Things are hard as hell to hook, man. There's one, there's one. He went, got him. This is a big one. Look at the side. Oh, and he's off. Shit. Damn it. That was a nice one right there. Wow. Let's try it again here in a minute. Something's got it in its mouth right up here, I think. I can't see the fish, but I know he's got it. He's got it in his mouth. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, oh, what is that? What the hell was that? That might have been a little gar. I think that was a gar right there. Shit, man. Oh, oh there, oh, big hit right here. Man, did he hit that like a ton of bricks. Gotta get one of these to stick. Gotta get one of these to hook here. That's a monster. That's, oh, he's off. Crap, that was a big one. That was, that was the one I was looking for right there. And I switched bait to this little white grub, but I have a circle hook on, but I tell you, it's so hard to hook these things. That was a monster. Try it again. Got him. Got him. Oh, he oh, Shit. Damn, man. I just blocked that bait. It flew right out of his mouth. Old baseball skill. That was a monster again. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's in the stream. Oh, shit. He's in the water. He's in the stream. He's right here. Big one. He's going down. Oh shit, there he goes. Shit. Look at him. I'm gonna try over here because as soon as they bite, they're jumping over the dam down these rapids. So it's quite the rapids here, but I'm gonna try this side. They might not be able to get down the dam so easy. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. So when you come here, this is the other side of the dam. Look at how deep this is here. This is insane. Look at this. It's almost like scary to fish for these. It's like, holy They're all over in here. Oh, 
Here he is. That's a big one. Here we go. Okay. We're gonna muscle him in. We got this one. Okay, we got this one. Okay, we got a good hook set here. Okay, I'm gonna come up here. We're gonna grab the flyers right here. Okay, this is a beauty. Look at this one. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Beauty right here. Look at that. Look at the teeth. Look at them. Look at them clamp down. Look at the teeth on that guy. Look at the top of that. And he's just clamping down. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beauty. Look at the mouth on that thing. Okay, we're gonna get a quick picture and we're gonna turn him back. Okay, this one is 21 inches. So it's not bad. It's a big fish. Okay, there it goes. Right back in there. Beauty catch right there. Wow, I threw him in quick. Okay, that's why I wear these gloves. I threw him in really quick because I wanted to go over this dam. It's too hard to revive him, but he's fine. That's a tough fish. So we got one finally. What did I say? It was 21 inches, this one. So we're looking at, that's a big fish. The one I caught here the other day was 25. So we're gonna go for the record. I want an over 30 incher. Okay, we'll try it again. Okay, I'm coming back in. That was a beauty. 21 inches on that one right here. Let's see if we can get another one right in here. They're coming right up to this dam here and hitting it. Something moving right in there. There he is. That's a nice one. Got him right here. That's another nice one. Okay, we're gonna yank him over. That's a nice one right here. Look at this one. Another beauty. Look at this one. Nice hook set. Okay, another beauty. He kind of got it in there. Oh, it's kind of down on the, the leader. Okay, let me grab him right here. Teeth are insane on the thing, man. Okay, where the hell is he going now? Okay, so he's in here. Okay. Let me see if I can grab him. He's right here. Okay, I got him. I got him this time. Okay, let me throw him back. Okay, there he goes. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Holy shit. This is the 30 inch we're looking for. Holy shit. Look at the size of this one. Let him calm down a bit. Got him right in the side of the mouth. I'm gonna bring him up. Look at this beast. Holy crap, man. This is what we're looking for right here. Holy shit. Oh, look at the size of that one. Look at that. Holy shit. Beauty. Let me get the measuring tape. Look at this guy. Let's measure him really quick. I'm gonna put it right here. Wow. Twenty-four inches. Big one right here. Okay. We're gonna get a quick picture and we're gonna throw him back. Size of this guy. Okay, let's throw him back. There it goes. It's like a torpedo. Okay, that's gonna do it for today. What a wild time. I mean, explosive action in this tiny little creek. You'd never even think it, but I am completely exhausted. It's about 95 degrees. I am so tired right now, I'm gonna go make a little 
shoreline lunch here. It's what I like to call it on my mini grill. I got some burger, steak, chicken, but I'm gonna have to get hydrated. If you like to hike, bike, camp, cook, and fish, I'll see you on the next great adventure. Look at this beast. Holy crap, man. This is what we're looking for right here. Holy shit. Oh, look at the size of that one. Look at that. Holy shit. Beauty. Can we get the measuring tape? Look at this guy.